Hello friends, today I'm going to talk about how to set up the DB2 native encryption. You have a database, sorry, you have an instance and you have a requirement to create a native database. So I'll talk about how to do that. And steps are pretty simple. You have to create a local key store. You have to create a master key. You have to update the DBM config key store parameters and you are ready to create an encrypted database. And optionally, once the database is created, you check whether the database is encrypted or not. So the steps are only four steps and in four steps, you will be able to set up the DB2 native encryption. I'll repeat, create the local key store, create the master key, update the DBM config and create the encrypted database. So these are the four steps. Once you create, you will verify whether the database is really encrypted or not. You, you can verify that. And optionally, I'll also explain how to encrypt an existing database. So let's say you have you had an already an existing database and you want to encrypt it. How do you do that? And then if you want to restore an encrypted database to another instance, how do you do that as well? Or you want to restore an encrypted database as a non-encrypted database. How do you do that? And you want to start the instance, but you don't want to keep a stash file. What is a stash file? It's like it contains the password of the key store. So every time if the instance starts, you don't want to key in the password. So you, you create a stash file and it contains the password for the key store. So and then the DB2 reads that stash file and opens up the key store. But what happens if somebody deleted the stash file? Then how do you start the instance? We'll see all of this. So before going through, I'll just explain. To create a lo local key store, you use this particular command, create DB. Using this command, you will be creating the local key store. Then you will be creating the master key. This is the optional command. This will only show you uh, the, I'll keep the command. This is optional. This will only show you if the, what is the key present in the uh, key store. Then once the key store has been created, you will create, you will update the, uh, yeah, you will update the key store location and key store type. And then once that is done, you are ready to create the database. But while creating the database, you will specify the keyword called encrypt. This is optional. If you don't specify this, DB2 will automatically create the key for you, master key for you. So this is optional, but if you already created the master key, you can use the label of that particular master key and you can do that. It's your choice whether you want to create the label first and then you want to use that label or you, you don't want to specify this. The command up to here will work fine. And then using this particular parameter encrypted database, you will check if the database is encrypted. Uh, it's a DB config parameter. So you'll check whether the database is encrypted. So these are the five steps. I'll repeat. Create the key store. This is optional. If you don't do this, the DB2, when you create the first database, will automatically create the label for you. Then once you have, you set up this parameter, key store location and key store type, and then you are ready to create your first database, which is encrypted database. Now, next steps is what if you have an existing database? So if you have an existing database, which you want to encrypt, you take the backup, you drop the database, and while restoring, you specify the encrypt. If you don't want to drop the database and you want to restore that particular database as a new database, you can do that. So while you, you it's the same command, but while restoring, you specify into. Then if you want to restore an encrypted database to another instance, then what you need to do, you need to set up the key store location and key store type, and you will copy the same files for the same instance. For the first instance, you'll copy those files and you'll set up those and then you will restore the database. And while restoring, you will specify the encrypt keyword. If you want to restore the database as a non-encrypted database, that is also possible. You only specify, while restoring, you specify the no encrypt keyword. And if you don't have the stash file and you want to start the instance, you can op start the instance using db to start open key store. So these are the optional parameters which you can specify if you don't have the stash file or you don't want to keep the stash file. If you don't keep the stash file, every time the instance starts, you have to use this particular optional parameters to start the instance. The instance will come up, even if you don't specify this, the instance will come up, but the encrypted database, you will not be able to access them. The non-encrypted, they will be fine. You can open the non-encrypted database, the encrypted database won't come up. 
So let's start with the exercise. I have this instance and as again I'll show you I am on version 11.1 fix pack 4 and I have one database called dbnew and let me check if that particular database is encrypted and it is not encrypted. So I have a non-encrypted database only one database is present and that is not encrypted database. And let me check if I have the key store variable set. Looks like I don't have anything set in the key store variable. So now what I'll try to do is I'll try to create an encrypted database. And I can't. The, the reason is that this particular instance has not been enabled for DB2 native encryption because neither the key store type or key store location has been specified. So we will create, we'll go here and I'll see if there are any key store files. There are none. Total is equal to zero. So let me create the key store files. That's done. And now I can see the key store file and the stash file. And then I'll use this particular location, the this particular location, and I'll use this key store file, and I'll say this pkc s12. I'll use this as a type. So. I'll update this parameter. I don't have to start and start, stop the instance. These are dynamic. So I got this too. It was none. If you see, this is none and that was, it was blank. And now I got this too. Now this command which failed here, let's see if it is working. Okay. So that command is, has started creating the database now. So while it is creating the database, let me pause the video and come back when the database is created. Okay, so my database is created and now what I'll do is I will check if it is really. Okay, so. Okay, so I did not specify the label, right? So while now I have got two instance two databases in this. Okay, I'll let <laughs> I did not copy. Now I got two databases. One is the DB new, which was old database, which is not encrypted. And I just created a new database. And while creating, I used this particular parameter called encrypt. And this particular database got created. And that particular database is encrypted database. So now let me try activating the both the databases just to prove that both the databases are one is encrypted database, one is non-encrypted database. And so in an instance, you can have an non-encrypted database and encrypted database. Even though the instance has got the key store parameter set, it doesn't mean that every database has to be encrypted. So you can have the mix and match of the databases that you want. So the way we created the encrypted database is we just use this particular parameter, the option. And, and I told you, this is the optional parameter. You want to specify, you can specify or you can uh, create the database as an encrypted database and without specifying the master key. Now, once that is done, okay, so what we will do now is we, okay, what is the next scenario we wanted to learn? Okay, encrypt an existing database. So we have done this, we have created an encrypted database and we, we have verified if the database is encrypted using this and yes, the database is encrypted. So now we will encrypt the existing database, which is that encrypted existing database. So we have this particular database and we will encrypt the database. So it is not encrypted. So we will encrypt it. And what we do for that, we just take the backup and while restoring the backup, we can either drop this database and restore it as a same database with the same name. But while restoring, we encrypt the database or we can restore this particular database into another database choice is yours what i'll do is like i'll drop this database so let me go here take the backup okay take the backup once the backup is done let me drop it and restore it and then check whether that particular database which has no here so let me drop it and let me restore it and here we saw that it is non-encrypted. It is encrypted is no. Now while restoring, I have specified exactly the same restore command, but while restoring, I just said encrypted. So now you see 
the database which was non encrypted before db new this is the database which is encrypted database no the same database after taking the backup and restoring using the encrypted parameter turns out to be encrypted database so this is the method so you, you could have drop restored it as another database also we, if you want i can do that as well so what i'll do is like i'll initiate another restore and what i'm doing is i'm restoring the db new database which was if the backup image was of the non-encrypted database restoring into this and while restoring i'm saying non-encrypted okay and now let me do the same thing and check and yes it is encrypted so what i did is like the backup image of this was non-encrypted backup but while restoring i restored it into another database and encrypted it so i showed you both of the methods now next exercise that we want to see is how to restore an encrypted database to another instance so let me go to another instance so well i don't know whether i have changed the permissions so let me go to the backup location and check no the permissions okay i've you've not even taken the backup so what i'll do is let me take the backup of the encrypted database Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, clear. let me take the backup and change the permission so that other instance can read it. I'm taking the backup of encrypted database and I want to prove that this is really an encrypted database. Okay, let's not prove it. Okay, so this is the backup image. I'll not be able to restore it. That, that itself will prove that it is encrypted backup. So I'll go to another instance. I'll go to the same path. right and then what i'll try to do is i'll try to restore this particular database and restore command failed because backup is of encrypted database which means this particular backup the backup image is encrypted or the backup is of the database which is encrypted but the target is not encrypted so we were not able to restore this particular database into another instance with this particular command so let me try okay so let me try to say i don't want to decrypt it i want to keep it encrypted okay so that also fails and the command because the key store which means i did not set up the key store so let me check that okay i have not i don't have that here Okay, not this. So db to get dbm config grep key. Okay, so the key store has not been set, and that's why neither I am able to restore it as without any parameter, or neither I am able to restore it with the encrypted parameter because I have not set the key store parameter. So let me copy the key stores, and then. Okay, that looks like done. No need to start and stop the instance. So if I do this now, I got the key store set, everything looks good. So let me try to restore this particular database now. And also while restoring, I want to restore that particular database into another database, which is non-encrypted also. I want to do both at the same time. So let me do this. And then once I'm done, I want to check this particular database, which was encrypted database restored here. So first let me see if there is a database list DB. And uh, okay, db to list data db directory and absolutely there is nothing. So we don't have anything. So I'm going to restore these two databases, one as encrypted and the same database I want to restore as a decrypted database. And the way you do it, do it, sorry, the way you do it is you just specify the no encrypt. And I'll run all of this together. <clears throat> so restoring. done now this particular database will be still be encrypted same database restore, i'm restoring as a decrypted database and no encrypt and if you see this particular database got restored as encrypted database and the same database got restored as decrypted database but not encrypted so to restore a database okay so to restore a database into another instance we need to set up the key store type and key store location and just restore but while restoring we have to either say encrypt 
if you want to keep the database encrypted and if you want to restore that as a non encrypted database all that you do is like while restoring you say no encrypt okay it is as simple as that so we have done we have covered this we have covered this and now finally we will check on this so what i'll do is like i will actually delete this test file so let me go here okay and let me take all of it so let me clear the screen Okay, before that, let me show you that both the databases are getting activated. Okay, looks good. Okay, so we have got both the databases which are getting activated. So what I'll do now, both the databases are, okay, so I got two databases which are active, this particular database and this particular database. The command is actually this. Yeah, so I got this particular database active and this. So what I'll do now is like I'll remove this stash file and restart the instance. So let's see what happens. Okay, so the decrypted database that got activated. What about encrypted database? Right, so the encrypted database could not be open the reason is simple see if i if you if i show you the the parameters are still set the the key store type and key store location is still set but still i got this error the the reason is that while this key store is getting opened, it reads the stash file and I have re renamed that stash file. If I go here and if I show you the stash file, the stash file is renamed as this. So it can't find the stash file with the same name, with the same extension called STH. It can't find it. And which means the key store is not open as of now. And that's why the decrypted database got activated, but the, acti the encrypted database could not get open. So what happens if you lose this stash file? Is that end of the world? No, it is not unless you have forgotten the password. So let's say you have a password. So what you can do is like you can open the instance and while opening the instance, you will use this open key store. So let me do that. Okay. And let me. Okay. Decrypted database and encrypted database. So both the database. See the previously this database failed. And stash file is still not renamed. If I show you the stash file is still with old. So it could not find. But while opening the instance, I opened the key store using this particular keyword. So I use this particular optional parameters, which you can do. So it is not mandatory to have a stash file. You can specify the password. But remember that every time you start the instance, you have to specify the password. Now again, it doesn't mean the instance wouldn't come up. Instance will come up, but the encrypted databases will not, you will not be able to activate those databases because the key store has not been opened. So let's go through this. Uh, it's pretty simple. You, if you want to set up the DB2 native encryption, you create a local key store, you create a master key, you update the DBM config and you create the encrypted database. Now, if you want to encrypt the existing database, what do you do? You take the backup and while restoring, you specify the encrypt keyword. If you want to restore the encrypted database to another instance, what do you do? You just copy the key stores, the key store file to another, set up these two parameters and you don't have to do this. It's dynamic and you just restore that database as encrypted. If you want to restore the encrypted database as non-encrypted database, all that you do is you will specify no encrypt keyword while restoring the database. And if you have lost a stash file, then you can open up the instance using these optional keywords. I hope this tutorial was useful. Thank you for watching. See you in next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.